What up guys? So today I have a push session coming at you. Push being chest, shoulders, triceps. Um, before I tell you all about it and how awesome it is, please do that YouTube thing. We're all friends here. Friends subscribe to other friends channels and they definitely give them thumbs up. So beep boop. Is that the sound they make? It's the sound they make on mine. Um, in addition to me telling you about how awesome our push session was today, I'm also wearing a stringer. Uh, so don't worry about certifications, degrees, results, application, actually coaching people. I've got a stringer. So now everything is going to be 200% more effective than it was before. Uh, but anyway, all jokes aside, got a push day today. Um, nothing crazy. Not going to dig too deep into any sciencey type stuff. I've got other videos if you want for that. I had some requests. Most, most people, obviously it's impossible to make everyone happy on YouTube. Um, if anyone ever does that, I don't know what will happen. Um, but most people really seem to like the raw videos. I had some requests in the raw videos for um, having the music, no music, so we could actually hear on us grunting or yelling at each other or whatever it is. The reason I always have music covering it is because I have music playing in the gym that YouTube does not allow me to play. Um, so today we tried to turn the volume off, the music off for some of the working sets and really just want to get you guys a feel for um, what really was productive in the session. Obviously, we're going to show some warm ups and stuff from that. But really, guys, want you guys to see, you know, working sets start to finish. You know, kind of see how I'm spotting Terrence, how Terrence is spotting me. Because I always say, regardless of if you have to train to failure, us at this point in time and where we're at, we pretty much have to train to failure to progress. Um, not everyone's like that. But one way or the other, the closer you train to failure, the more important those reps are for actually changing your physique. Um, and so, again, that's where most people also mess up. You know, so if you normally see someone has bad form, some people, of course, are very talented and have bad form with their warm-up sets and hold it consistent all the way through their working sets, which good for you, at least you're consistent. But a lot of people, you know, warm-up sets are really pretty. They're using muscle, they're not bouncing. And by the time they get to their working sets and they just want to hit a PR, they want to write a bigger number, they kind of ignore the fact that maybe their body has, uh, they've turned the exercise into some sort of total body uh, movement where their curls now involve every single thing in some sort of curl clash slash clean and jerk or something. Um, so anyway, Rambling aside, I want you guys to pay attention where the main things we're always thinking about is really keeping everything the same, especially when it's the hardest, especially when you're close to failure, or for most of our stuff today, just slightly past failure, maybe one or two force reps past failure. Um, and again, today too, just for the context of everything, last week was basically kind of an off week for both myself and Terrence, um, not really doing anything from a productive training standpoint. Um, so this week kind of back in our groove. And um, I honestly push myself and Terrence a teeny bit harder than maybe we normally would, um, just because normally we maybe stay a little short of failure, a little lower volume coming right back, but we really don't have time at this point in time. Uh, Terrence is inside of six weeks now from the Arnold. And, um, you know, so obviously the goal is for him to look as good as possible on stage at that point in time. So pretty typical push session. You know, we really have three movements um, that are specifically for chest, two and a half, depending on how you want to look at, but we basically we do a low incline press on the Smith, I always get questions about that. You know, the Smith, in case you haven't noticed ours anyway, is a barbell that moves straight up and down and it's in the track. So people are always like, what's the benefit of the Smith or what's the difference between that and a barbell? Almost nothing, just a little less stabilization. It's nothing that's rocket science. It certainly isn't better than incline barbell. Incline barbell certainly isn't better than the Smith machine. Uh, basically, we just rotate. If you're new here, uh, if you look back some videos, I've done times where we do just incline barbell. We've done incline dumbbell, we've done incline machine press. Right now we're just on the rotation of incline smith. And that's basically what we do every couple of months, rotate around, uh, which press feels great. This feels good for both of us now, so we're gonna run with it. The light band is just to slightly improve the profile. So again, basically, you know, you're gonna be a little bit stronger as you come into that top position. So basically we want the weight that we're handling, the weight in our hands slightly heavier as we come to the top. And if you understand, obviously the band has a different amount of pull, you know, at various lengths. So it spots more at the bottom. As you see, as we come to the top, it gets completely slack. So basically it's just the weight on the bar at that point in time. That's the whole point of the bands. Most wider grip stuff, you should have a lighter band. Shouldn't be too heavy because there's not as much stacking occurring. So two working sets there, then onto my favorite fly variation, three working sets there, and then back to a high incline press on the Smith. Um, again, half the reason we're doing a lot of Smith is one, it feels good. Um, again, it is definitely arguably a little bit more stable, um, but also it's very quick, quick setup as well too. So during prep, especially for Terrence. Well, I don't ever have patience, and uh, so we don't want anything that takes too long. So heading back over there, and that's kind of where we're gonna be absolutely getting a lot of front delt, but also getting some upper chest fibers involved as well too. From there, my favorite lateral raise variation, the line cuff raise, three working sets on that. Um, and then once we completed that, a drop set on the third working set on that, 
and then basically supersetting press downs to calf raises. And then for kind of the finisher after all that, did a face pull to a floor press with the Smith. And again, for finisher stuff, again, nothing miraculous there. Uh, basically, once your fatigue, once maximum load uh, is not something that's really an option, which is the end of any one session, whatever you want to call it, finisher, metabolic work, pump work, whatever it is, something that we know from the field in the trenches and from science-y type stuff, peer review type stuff, is still or can still be effective volume as long as you're training close to failure. So I like floor press because it's in a shortened range of motion, you know, where you're very strong and stable still. So taking whatever I've got left from there from chest, um, definitely have some front delts and triceps involved as well too. And I just like face pulls every once in a while. Nothing miraculous for that. People talk about that as being a corrective exercise. There's no exercise that's inherently corrective in and of itself. That's gonna make someone's head hurt, but that's the truth. Um, but that being said, training external rotation is never a bad thing. Um, and that also loads every head of the delt to a certain degree. Um, so I just like it to finish obviously a push session, doing something for chest, shoulders, triceps, and then something for every head of the delt and some external rotations well too. This is, people always ask, this is unicorn blood. So if uh, you can get the blood from an endangered species is good, but the blood from a mythical creature is always the best. So this is the most anabolic um, blood that I could find. I always drink that intra workout. Um, but anyway, that is today's session. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of a feel for what a real session looks like for us um, going through a push day. And again, keep in context, someone will always ask, you know, shouldn't you have more triceps or whatever? Yes, we have a whole other day where we actually start with triceps. It's kind of my reverse push day where we start with triceps, two to three working movements just for triceps and then move into delt and then move into chest. So this isn't our only thing that we do for push. We actually have technically another reverse push day where we just flip flop the order of everything and have all different exercise selection as well too. So that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoy the session. Enjoy hearing us grunt or me saying, you know, push, finish, go hard, or whatever else I say that out of context sounds very strange, but hopefully within this context doesn't sound that strange. And uh, until the next one, guys, if you didn't already, we're friends. Friends, subscribe. Friends, give thumbs up. All that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys till the next one.
Come on, come on, come on. Finish.
Oh yeah. Like Russia went to war a long time ago. I think Britain did too about like years and years ago. And some other players too. Go, go. Yep. Yeah. I always like that. Um, I personally love some of the roles that Jet Li played. Jet Li's movies are like they all have different, like they have different styles. Like yeah. Jackie Chan did mostly comedy. Yeah. Jet Li stuff is super serious.
go. Yep. One more. Smooth. Yep, let's go. One more, come on.
I didn't know that. That's the only one
Oh. <sighs> 